there, everybody. Good morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host, for the next seven minutes or so right here on Seven Minutes in the Morning. Let me get that popped up there. All right. So how are y'all doing on this terrific Tuesday morning? Right? Terrific Tuesday. It's good. It, it's already been a good day. It's going to continue to be a great day. Just what I'm telling myself. So, great show lined up for you today, and another great show lined up on Talk Radio for Entrepreneurs comes up about an hour from now. Uh, my guest this week, uh, live in the studio, is going to be Mr. Antonio Montoya. You don't want to miss that. That'll be a great conversation. Remember, you can watch that here also on the Unashamed Nonconformist page, or... Better yet, you can go to talkradioforentrepreneurs.com and that will take you to the Facebook Live broadcast where you can watch and ask questions and leave comments and all kinds of good stuff. So remember, when you join, let me know that you're here. Drop a comment in down there. Just say hi. Doesn't matter whether you're watching live or on the replay. I enjoy knowing that you are here. So today's topic, oh look, we've got a bunch of people in already. Good morning, Keith, Jeremy, Ramona. Thank you all for being here. Um, and especially for you, Keith. The dog is over there, and I think the chicken's over there. We'll, we'll see. Watch in the background, see if she walks by. Today's topic is inspired by coffee, or at least uh, my coffee cup. This is, see if I can get that without the glare on it there. If you want different results, you have to do things differently. That's the topic for today. If you are, we, I, as I said yesterday, successful or unsuccessful, you are creating results every day. Every day. The actions that you take, right? And we, we that's all this stuff's kind of adding up together here, coming up toward a crescendo. The sum total of the short-term choices that you make create a long-term result. You are creating a result all the time, every time, every day. If you are unsatisfied with that result, right, if you, if you want different results, then you have to do something different because we know, just like 2 plus 2 is always going to equal 4, if you keep doing the same things you've done, you're going to keep getting the same results you've gotten. It's not any more complicated than that. But we try to make it into some, some big thing and say, no, no, no. I want to keep doing what I'm doing. Everybody else has to change, including the universe, right? Everybody else has to change. I'm staying the same. Now, when you hear it like that, when you think about it like that, does that really make sense? I know that was a big breakthrough for me when I started thinking about, you know, how can I produce, the, the, I'm, I'm unhappy with, I'm unhappy, I'm unsatisfied with the level of results that I'm currently getting. What can I do differently? I mean, I had this conversation with myself this morning, right? In this particular area, I'm not satisfied with these results. What can we do differently? Now, one of the questions I get frequently when we start talking about this is, well, doesn't it take a long time? Don't you just have to put in the grind? Don't you have to have stick to itiveness? Don't you? Yes. All of those things are true, but you can be certain. <laughs> if you've been working on a project for a couple of years and haven't gotten a result, definitely time to try something new. If you tried something yesterday, less than 24 hours ago, and you don't have a result yet, maybe stick that one out. Right? You have to you have to judge every opportunity, every engagement on its own merit. Right? Some things will you'll know immediately whether it worked or not. Right? If I stop stabbing myself in the leg with this knife, will it stop hurting? Oh yeah, it stopped hurting. Alright. That's an immediate result. Some things take a little bit longer. That's where the art of life comes in. Right? There's a science and there's an art, and, and sometimes there's a nice, big, fat, fuzzy, gray line in between. 
And that's where we spend a lot of our time. But it is in that big, fat, fuzzy, gray line where we live our life. And that's where we make progress toward a result. We make progress toward a goal. Movement in a direction. Remember? So don't be afraid of that. Don't be afraid of um, not getting the result right away. But you do have to realize that if you're not producing that result, you got to do something different. You know, we talked earlier about um, about fear and how fear um, can paralyze us. Fear of an unsuccessful result might paralyze us from taking any action. Yet some action has to be taken. And we might sit back and say, well, I know I need to do something differently, but I'm not sure what it is, so I'll keep studying the situation until I learn the right answer. That's where action trumps uh, anything else, right? Sometimes just taking an action, two things happen, right? One is you create movement, right? And, but then you also create movement up here, in between your ears. That's where the real excitement happens. All right, so comments rolling in. Let's see. Good morning, Tina. Good morning, Eric. Uh, all right. Experiment to see if a small change gets a slightly different outcome. Outcome is not known. It might surprise you. Yeah, absolutely, Keith. That's right. If you are fearful of making a wholesale change, that's a great point. Take a small step in that direction and see what happens. If nothing bad happens, take another step in that direction. If bad starts to happen or undesirable or no change, then reconsider your course. See, here's the other thing we think about also. And, and just bear this in mind as you're thinking about this analogy. Time is always moving forward. Therefore, we are always moving forward. We can't go back to where we were. Our next step has to be forward from where we are. So if we're going down this path and we take a little deviation this way to see if it's going to work, a little bit further and it's going to work, oh, that's, that's working great, let me deviate further, or oh, that's not working, let me deviate back. But you can't turn around and go back to where you were. All right? It's just always moving, always adjusting that path. Ramona says it might take time for new results uh, but it takes us taking that first step to move toward different results. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and I like that too, Ramona. Take Action Tuesday. That's going to be the subtitle today. Take Action Tuesday. Yes, it might take time for those results to manifest, but you do have to take the step. If you stand there and watch it, it ain't going to happen. It's like losing weight. <laughs> I can attest to that. Watching the scale doesn't make any difference. <laughs> All right, thank you all for being here so much. I really appreciate it. Hey, listen, I work with business owners, leaders, and executives just like you and people, just regular old everyday people that are trying to create a result in their life. If you know somebody who is struggling trying to create a result in their life, turn them on to this video. Just send them a link to this one. Uh, they will appreciate it. I will appreciate it, and they'll be able to join us in our conversations as we move forward. And... As I said, I was inspired by this coffee mug. If you'd like to be inspired by this coffee mug, I'll put a link for this. That's available uh, also for you to pick one of those up. You can have your coffee in that mug every morning and remind yourself that if you want different results, you have to do things differently. Remember, talkradioforentrepreneurs.com. That's coming up at the top of the hour. Antonio Montoya is my guest today. It will be an awesome show. I will talk to you then. Thank you all for being here. Oh, hey, Michelle. Don't want anybody to slip in without getting a high. So be sure and leave, your, uh, leave a high down there. I'll send you a comment back uh, in the comments after we're done. All right, that's it. Cutting it off. You have a, a Take Action Tuesday, and I'll be back uh, at the top of the hour with Talk Radio and be back here in the morning with another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. You take care.